Do you want to take your customers from one section of your Shopify store to another section on a different page? Then you've clicked on the correct video because today I am going to show you how to do that step by step. You can find tons of videos on YouTube showing you how to go from one section of your Shopify page to another section on the same page or to the top of another page. If that's what you need, you'll find those on YouTube. But today I'm going to show you how to go from one section on one part of your Shopify store to another section of your Shopify store on a different page. Hola and welcome to the channel. My name is Betsy from Betsy Lugo Creative and I am Shopify website designer here teaching you all of my tips, tricks and resources so that you can create a Shopify store that you are proud of. Now today I'm going to show you how to install a Luna template uh, snippet. And so what snippets are just pieces of code that you add to the back end of your website that help you do what it is that you want to do. So what we want to do today is create those anchor links. And so Luna templates, I am not affiliated with them. This is not an affiliate or sponsored, um, but I have used their sections before and they're really easy to install, really easy to follow and really easy to use. Now today it is uh, mid-September. So this uh, snippet is currently free. So. All right, so let's jump into the video and let me show you how to download it, install it, and create those anchor links. All right, let's jump in. There are two questions that you might be asking yourself. The first one is, why do I need anchor links? Okay, so anchor links help your customer user experience. Buyers use them to navigate your site and can improve, obviously, the browser experience. So for example, let's say you they want to know your mission statement, right? So they can simply click on the mission statement right here and it'll take them directly to the mission statement where it is specifically in another page instead of just sending them to uh, the top of a page and then they have to look for it. Now, a note of caution, I would not recommend for you to do this, what I'm teaching you here today, if you have a blog and you're creating a table of content, okay? For that, I would advise you to go to the Shopify app store and there's several apps that you could use that are specifically designed for your table of content. So that's what I would suggest for you to do because this version that I'm going to teach you today is just not for that, okay? So I just wanna give you a word of caution there. And the second question is, are anchor links good for SEO? And the short answer is yes. Whenever you make navigating your website smooth, which is called a good user experience, then yes, it's always good for SEO. And if someone is searching on Google for something that you probably have on your website and you they click on it and it takes them directly to what it is that they're searching for, of course, Google is gonna love that, right? So let me show you here really quick. So if I go ahead and type in here, how to pack a carry-on for a week, right? On this search, you'll see here a variety of the results. I want you to note here is see this section here where it says elevate what you need, rethink your packing, repurpose. These are all anchor links. So if I click right on this link here, it'll take me exactly to what I want to read. And that is always good in Google's eyes. So yes, anchor links are good for your website as long as they serve a purpose, okay? You don't wanna create anchor links just to create anchor links. Remember the user experience, it needs to make sense. First thing we have to do, first things first, is that we have to download the snippet, right? <laughs> All right, so here is Luna template. So what you'll do, you just can click on here where it says the pre-built sections, okay? And then you just look for the anchor links, all right, which is right here. And as you can see, it's free, all right? I don't know how long that'll be free for, but it is free as of now, okay? So you'll go ahead and enter your information. So we'll go ahead and do that. And that is it, my friends. That is as simple as it is to get the anchor link, okay? So let's jump over to the email. So they're gonna email us the snippet and the instructions. So I'm gonna show you exactly how that looks. So this is the confirmation email. So as you can see, it's just thank you for your order and it's gonna take a little bit, uh, 15 minutes to receive the confirmation account, um, which is on Teachable. So once you get to Teachable, it'll have all the instructions on what to do, okay? Let's go right into their Teachable account. All right, perfect. So here's the anchor uh, section here. And so you'll go ahead and go through the instructions if you want to, or you can just follow along. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is right here, we're gonna go ahead and this is the instruction. So they, like I said, they do give you step by step. So we're gonna go ahead and just bypass that because I've already done it. So we're gonna go ahead and grab this code here. We're gonna go ahead and copy that. All right, now let's go over to our Shopify store and let's create those anchor links. Okay, but before we put the code, I just wanted to show, so this is my demo site here, okay? Um, and we're gonna use the anchor link on this uh, code here. So as you can see, if you click on here, there's nothing here because I don't have any um, links to this button here. So let's come over to the theme editor. And as you can see, you click on here and there's nothing here. Okay, so let's actually make this um, our mission. Let's change this. So it, for it to say our mission. Okay, so that's going to take us to the our mission in the about page that I created. Okay, let's go ahead and go to the edit code. Now remember, whenever you're editing the code on your website to always create a duplicate copy, all right, and then work on the duplicate copy. And if everything works out, you can publish that duplicate copy or you can just come back to the live site and then just redo what you did in that duplicate copy, okay? Hope that makes sense. But, all right, so let's go ahead and edit the code and we're gonna go into our sections here and we're gonna create a new section so as you can see i don't have it on this website here let's go back let me show you here if we add a section here and i click on anchor you'll see that i don't have any anchor links here okay all right so let's go here and go to sections here leave it in liquid and then let's go ahead and type in let's say anchor, let's name it anchor link Whenever you're naming um, sections here, there is no space. So the space, you have to include a hyphen for the space, right? Because there's no space. Now let's go ahead and remove the code that's automatically generated. And let's go ahead and put Luna templates code in here. All right. So let's go ahead and click on save. And let's go back over here. Let's refresh. And then we should be able to see the anchor uh, right away. So let's go here to section because now that's going to create a section for us that we can add anywhere we want. So let's go ahead and anchor and there is the anchor. Now that we have the sections, now let's go ahead and apply the anchor links to the website. Okay, beautiful. So the anchor link section now is not on our website. Okay, and now the anchor link section does nothing. So let's go ahead and just click on here and you'll see it's been added somewhere here. All right. All right, it's not going to, let's go ahead and save that. It's not going to do anything to your website. It's not going to design anything. It's not going to write anything. It is just simply on the back end of, of your website, navigating your users to where you want them to go. Okay. So when we're going to do, when we're going to add anchor links, you have to think about where you want the users to go. What is the flow, right? And where you want them to end up at. And that is where we're going to start. So we're going to reverse engineer. So we go to our homepage here and where we want them to go, when we, they click on this button here, we're going to want them to go to the about page, a fake page that I made, and we want them to come all the way down to here where it says our mission, right? I think I misspelled that, our mission, okay? So this is where we're going to begin. We're going to begin on the page where you want your customers to end up in, okay? Does that make sense? All right, so let's go here and let's go to the about page. All right, and then we're going to add an anchor link right above our mission because this is where we want them to go. So let's go ahead and add a section. Let's go ahead and add the anchor. And let's go ahead and move it right above to our mission here. All right, and now the next step is to name your anchor. So be specific to the name of the anchors because if you want to create other anchors on somewhere else on your website, you want them to be specific, okay? Let's just say mission is going to be the name of the anchor. The next step, anywhere you put um, mission, is going to bring them to this section here. So that's why I want you to be specific to how you name your anchors, okay? So mission. Now we're going to go to the um, homepage. All right, and we're gonna 
now assign this button here to go to the section, the mission section in the about page. All right, so what we'll do here is that we have to create actually the URL to that page we want them to go. So let's go back here to our page here and we're going to copy and paste the URL to the about me page. So we're gonna copy that. You're gonna enter it here and then you're gonna follow at the end of it with a pound and then the name that you gave it, that anchor, which is mission, okay? Now, you do have to click right above here, this URL here, which is, I don't know why you have to do that, but you have to cl actually click on there, then click save, okay? All right, and now let's test this out. Ooh, drum roll, please. All right, so let's go to the home page and now we're going to click on this and it's going to take us to the about me page mission section. Ta -da! Okay, how about if you want to use the same um, sections, anchor link sections and navigate the customer from the top of the page to the bottom of the page. You can also use this, um, you can use Luna templates to do that. Let me show you how to do that. So let's go back. All right, so let's say we don't want them to go to that other page. We want them to come all the way down to the bottom here and subscribe, right? So we had this anchor link already here. So let's go ahead and make this anchor link, let's say emails. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, save that. All right, so now we have the anchor for says email. So now let's come up to the bottom. And now because we are, um, let's go ahead and delete this. Now, because we're not going to another page, we're staying with the same page. We don't need the URL. You just need the hashtag and then email. Did I say emails or email? Let's see. Let's see if it'll work. <laughs> we'll find out in just a moment. All right, so let's go to the home page. And, oh, did I save it? Oh, you see, I didn't do that. So uh, email. You have to click on this thing here. I don't know why. Okay, now let's save that. All right. All right, let's refresh. All right, and now, um, so let's go here and it takes us to the email. Now, you can also apply this anchor link to text, images. You can apply it in a, a lot of different ways. So let's say, for example, you want to, um, let's say, this section here, right? So let's go ahead and click on this section here. And let's say we want it to be, let's just say brew therapy here. All right, so we're gonna click on the insert link and same process, so emails. All right, let's click on this one here, insert and save. Okay, let's go back to our home and let's go ahead and refresh that and let's go back to the top. And then here it'll create the hyperlink for you. And then you click on that and it'll bring you here. And the same thing for an image. You can create links to images as well to take them to where you want them to go. That's it. Now you have anchor links on your website and you can help your customers navigate wherever you want them to go. All right, let me know in the comments below. What do you think? Give me a thumbs up and until next time, adios.